If you've ever been on the side hustle side of social media longer than 10 minutes, then you know that a lot of people are telling you how to promote Amazon affiliate links on Pinterest. Unfortunately, I got some bad news for you. Most of these people are telling you to do it the wrong way. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it the right way, step by step. We're also going to take a look at what Pinterest says about affiliate marketing and affiliate links. So if you've considered doing this as a side hustle, make sure you watch this entire video first. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets and if you want to be added to the globe comment down below with your city state zip code province or country and I'll get you pinned. All right, so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the right way to promote Amazon affiliate links on Pinterest. Right now on social media, TikTok, and even YouTube Shorts, people are telling you to just go grab a picture from Amazon and then post it right on Pinterest with an affiliate link. That's the absolute wrong way to do it for a number of reasons. One, you could potentially get banned. Two, Pinterest hates that type of marketing. And three, you're not adding any value or solving any problems. So let's go ahead and take a look at the right way to do it and I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. So if we take a look at my screen here, the first thing that you wanna do is you obviously wanna to go to affiliate-program.amazon.com. That's how you're going to sign up for Amazon Associates. You're gonna walk through this process. It takes probably 10 or 15 minutes, but after you get done with that, the second thing that I think you should do is install something called SiteStripe. SiteStripe will allow you to quickly and easily get your affiliate link from the Amazon website. So that way you don't have to actually log in to Amazon Associates in order to get your affiliate link. You can just browse Amazon like normal. For example, these hair clippers, if you wanted to promote them, you would just grab the affiliate link. Let me show you real quick. I am now logged back into Amazon Associates and the benefit of SiteStripe is I can come up here and I can get a text URL, I can get an image URL that has my affiliate link already tied or I can actually do a combination of both. We're going to use this text affiliate link in a little bit, but I just wanted to make sure that you have it set up beforehand so that you're not wasting any time. Again, it's called Site Stripe, as you can see up in the top left-hand corner. So now that we have the easy part set up, let's go ahead and talk about the best ways to make money with Amazon affiliate links on Pinterest. Pinterest at its core is a search engine. But before we get into that, let's take a look what Pinterest Gabby had to say about a promoting affiliate links on Pinterest. This is from July 30th, 2020. You can see always follow our paid partnership guidelines. So they want you to put an ad or affiliate link if you're just sending people directly to an affiliate offer, which I don't recommend. In general, you should operate only one Pinterest account. Affiliate content should be original and add unique value for Pinterest. So a lot of people are just telling you to go grab an image from Amazon and post it right into Pinterest. If everybody's doing that, it's no longer unique. And then here's some things they say, don't try and artificially manipulate Pinterest. Let's look at this one. Creating affiliate pins repetitively or in large volumes, marketers should follow our spam policy. So know that ahead of it that you want to make sure that you are creating unique pins so that you can actually make money. But like I said, Pinterest at its core is a search engine and we're just gonna do a little bit of keyword research because you don't wanna just blindly put up these Pinterest pins that nobody cares about or nobody is interested in. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just going to type in, I don't know, men's razor, men's grooming, because we are already there. Now what you're going to do is you want to make sure that you are searching all pins like this, men's grooming, to see if this is something that people are actually interested in. I typed in men's grooming and you can see men's grooming, men's grooming kit, men's grooming tips, men's grooming products. Okay, so this is something that people are actually interested in over on Pinterest. So let's go with men's grooming tips. If we look at this, these are all of the different pens that people have created about men's grooming tips. These are real simple. This is actually made with Canva for free and I'm gonna show you how to do the exact same thing. So what you will do first is you are going to create a blog post with men's grooming tips. And so I don't know anything about men's grooming. Obviously, I'm just going to go over to ChatGPT and I'm going to type in, create a blog outline for 10 men's grooming tips. And so we're gonna get that outline. We are going to put that outline into our blog post. Now I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I just wanna show you what this process is so that you can actually do this and be successful. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we are going to grab 10 essential grooming tips every man should know. I'm gonna copy this and this is going to be our heading for our blog post. And so once this loads, I am just going to 
paste that in just like that. Next, I'm gonna come back over to ChatGPT and I'm just going to say, I'm just gonna tell it to write this first introduction. You're going to repeat this for all of the different tips, but I'm just gonna do it for the introduction so that you can see what this looks like and it doesn't take 20 hours to do. So I'm just gonna say write here like this, hit enter. And then once I have that, I am going to paste it back into the blog that we're working on. I'm gonna come back to you once I have it pasted in so that you can see what this looks like. All right, so what I did is I wrote the introduction and then I wrote the tip number one. And so just to make sure that everyone's on the same page, this is an H2, so a heading. This is an H3, which is a subheading. And so the bottom of the first tip, I have a call to action. Elevate your skin's health with our premium moisturizer. Click here for a smoother, rejuvenated complexion. To do that, I came over to ChatGPT and asked ChatGPT to add a call to action to include in my blog post. And then I said, make it one sentence. And then I said, make it shorter. And this is what it came up with. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Amazon and we are going to look up a moisturizer. Let's assume this is a moisturizer. I know it's not. I just want to speed this along. So we're going to copy this like this come back over to our blog post and we are going to embed this as an affiliate link and we are going to open this up in a new tab. So now that we have that, we are just going to do the same thing for each of our tips and then we are going to click publish. When we click publish, we are going to get a URL to this blog post. Very important, remember that. We are going to get a URL for this blog post. Right now the URL is alstingodbolt.com forward slash question P equals 337. Now that we have that, the next step is to go over to Canva and create a Pinterest pin. So the Canva has a free version and a premium version, but everything that we can do is in the free version. Everything that we need is in the free version. I'm going to put a link directly to Canva to make your life a little bit easier. It is an affiliate link. If you want to use it, that's fine. If you don't, that's okay too. And so what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab this one. This one's free and I'm going to click customize template. Now I'm going to type in like men's face like that and oh, I'm gonna go to elements first and I'm gonna type in men's face like this and sure we're gonna go with this one and I'm gonna put that in there like that so I'm gonna type in let's say 10 best men's grooming tips for beginners what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you create 10 Pinterest pins for each blog post. So you're going to do this 10 different Pinterest pins, not the same one. So you're going to do like add page and then you might use this guy's face and then you're going to have different variation. You're then going to download these to your computer. So you're going to click share, you're going to click download and then you're going to click download. It's going to download as a zip file because you're doing 10 of these. The next step is to go over to a website called Tailwind. Tailwind allows you to schedule schedule Pinterest pins so that you're not spending all day and night creating and uploading these pins. What I do is I click on upload or create post and I upload the 10 pins at one time. Next, I'll go to drafts and I select the 10 pins that I were just working on. So you can see 10 pins like this. Click bulk schedule and now I'm going to upload them. Again, I'm gonna put a link in the description to Tailwind so that you can use it. I'm going to use the title of this blog post like this copy that, put it into Tailwind. And here I'm going to put my link from my blog post in where it says pen URL. So for this example, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here, just like that. So I'll use this and then I'm going to press Ghostwriter. It's gonna come up with a description once I put in informational content, like generate pin, it's gonna come up with a description. While that's working, I'm going to add this pin to my 10 different boards. So it's going to upload this one pin to 10 different boards over the span of the next 10 weeks. I'm gonna save this. I am going to select. So I'm gonna select Sunday, November 19th, which is today, and it's going to upload to these 10 different boards over the next 10 weeks on Sunday at 9.46 p.m. And then I'm going to click on schedule post. This is a better way to do it for a number of reasons. One, you are going to be building out your website. Two, you're going to abide by the rules of Pinterest and Amazon. And three, you have a better opportunity to make money. This helps you stand out. This helps you be unique. This is a more profitable way to go. Can you do this with a free website? Maybe. I would not try it because there's more value in having your own website. One thing that you should always look out for is if I go to settings, one thing that 
Pinterest asks you to do is they ask you to verify your website. Now, I don't know that you can verify your website on a Google Sites account. I don't think you can. So like under claimed accounts here, you can see I've got claimed account. They want you to claim your account so that you can get more advantages through Pinterest. So go this route. I'll put a link to the best web hosting provider for beginners. I'm gonna put a link to Canva so that you can get started. It is an affiliate link. I'm gonna put a link to Tailwind so that you can do this correctly. Tailwind also has a free level as well. As you get more pins out there, as you start seeing success, you are going to want to upgrade to the premium level, but you can start all of this for free that's the really cool part so this is the right way to do it please don't do the wrong way and get your account banned don't get frustrated simply because the wrong way it doesn't work you're gonna be wasting a lot of time energy and efforts now that you know how to properly promote your Amazon affiliate links on Pinterest watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business